My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Really? How? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning into the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge of the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on all people there, and free them from control. May darkness never come. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Yala. Dragon, it's attacking! It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Find out what's happening up there.
you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to do. But we never found one until now. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it, we're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. 
The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. You get to the Cloud District very often. Oh, what else? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. There. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Do come back. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, you look rather pale. Could be ataxia. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients?
Come back anytime if you need a remedy. How goes the begging today, friend? Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Early today, Mama.
not to set anything on fire, all right? Come to Solitude to join the Legion. Speak to Ricker. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Get on with it. You betrayed us. Rob there. You helped Ulrich Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered Hiking Tori. Where are these vampires coming from? We need to wipe them out before them. Have you heard? If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron and... Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Helgen, one of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Oh, not so confident now, are we? Yes, this is a test. I don't think you're regular militia material. I want to see what you're capable of. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. What could it mean? The return of the dragon?
Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendhal. I heard something. No, ain't this is a
someone there. Time to end this little Oof! Missing out on some wonderful opportunities working on. Seems there's no end to them. Take a look. Anytime you need arms or armor, my form never matters. Take care of those flames. Tell me again why I God might get in chasing oh. after a fairy tale. If off the Alfred coast gets his hand on that. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Changed your mind? Decided you want to soldier for the Empire after all. Well then, repeat after me. 
Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor, long live the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. Welcome. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. Welcome to the Legion Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjum. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. A legendary crown, dating back to King Harald's time, or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus, when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his Stormcloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The Rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I consider this conversation over. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the King. We're backing Elisif. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible. Pine Moon Cave is down to the southwest, but it ain't fit for exploring. There are stories. Vampires, some say. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Hey, yep. I just have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy? Light armor for scouting detail. Heavy armor for full-on combat. Or something in between. They don't make finer steel anywhere else. If this doesn't keep you from dying, nothing will. Now that's it. One free outfit per soldier. 
You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. Return any time you need arms or off. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. 